Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go through the locked door and see what's beyond this. Oh, I am already not look liking the looks of this. What the heck? Bavi can target the thing all the way from there? Desert Colossus's face. It sure looks evil. Hmm. Uh, well, I can move the Song of Time block over there, obviously, but is that something that is desi- Ah! <laughs> that was mean! Is that something that I desire? I don't know. There's a locked door. Uh, maybe Song of Time right there? That would make a lot of sense. There we go, Yahoo! Man, that doesn't make any sense! Wait, actually, that that just moved the block to the ne Oh, wait, it did move it here. Must have just been a camera perspective thing that threw me off. <laughs> wait, I got the Lens of Truth out, so I just want to check through this. Like, why would I want to go here is the question. Like, why is this a desirable place to walk around? Do I want to jump onto that thingy? Oops. Um, well, I can, but this is the kind of switch that you need to press with something, basically. Like, see, that? that's what happens right there. So there's probably a crate somewhere in this room that I can use. Uh, there's a torch up there. Oh, there's a crate down there. So that's probably what I need. I'm just gonna leave that be for now and explore this place a little bit. You never know when there's gonna be a switch underneath a crate in Master Quest. Ah! Dang it! Evil pots! They're far more evil than that statue ever looked. <laughs> At least the statue doesn't hurt you. It just sits there. The pots, they come to life! Um... Is that a wall master? He is a wall master. Okay, come on. Might as well lure it out here. And... There we go! You're going down! I am taking you to the cleaners because your fingernails are incredibly dirty. You should not work in construction. There's a switch. What does a switch do? Treasure chest appears. Compass? What, what was that? Do you hear that? I could have swore I heard a gooey like like. Ah, uh, let's just open it up. Compass! Yeah, I didn't think I would get the like like that soon. Just seemed improbable. Okay, so there's Navi flashing green up there, for whatever reason. Hmm. Navi? Uh, let's just play a song of time. See if that has a reaction. La la No, okay. How about... The Scarecrow song! Greatest song ever! And yeah, that makes Pierre appear, so I guess that's what Navi was fussing about. Now about those torches, do or I should say, can I like light them on fire or are they timed torches? And do I know all the locations of all the torches? That is another question, <laughs> because I see there's three in evenly placed positions. Okay, I got that one. I like this one. Yeah! Eh, eh, go, go! I should have lit the middle one last. I mean, the middle one second, excuse me. I just did them in order. Oh my god, yeah, the middle one is already out. I actually don't think I'll have enough time to do that regardless. Although, I can melt this thing and shoot the door. I should say shoot the switch above the door. Wait, what was that that fell? I heard that. Oh, it's a slugma. <laughs> That's the sound of a slugma wherever it is. Okay, I'm just gonna leave this room for now and go through here because this seems like a 
easier to access room and I need the silver gauntlets to get through here. Okay! <laughs> so, well actually this is a passage to return through here. Like see, you, you would what you would do is you would push the block into the hole, the block would get stuck, or you would or just disappear and then you jump the gap. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Aha! I knew it was there and I still got hit by it. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, that's what that... So that's why that Song of Time block is over there. It's to keep that crate lifted up there. See, when I looked at that crate before, I was wondering how I was supposed to get it up here. But actually, how, how will I get up, up there regardless? Stop that! <laughs> um, can I climb over the railing and jump off it? No? Hmm. Interesting indeed. Now if I move the block over here, that, that would just make the, the uh, crate over there fall to the ground and then I, th I think it would be at an unusable spot. Or at least I think it would be. Gotta try it, I suppose. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, see, there's no crate on top of the block, so the crate just flopped right down to the ground. And that crate's definitely something that I have to get up there in order to press that switch, unless I can't do it as a kid, because this is a room that both um, Child Link and Adult Link come through. By the way, where are those slugmas anyway? Are they on top of that other that other room? Like the uh, other pathway that way? They just might be. Uh, but that place is definitely only accessible as adult because I can't, you know, long shot my way up there as a kid because for some reason you can't use certain adult tools as a kid. <laughs> Never really got that, and vice vice versa. I mean, you can't tell me that an adult can't use a boomerang. I mean, come on. <clears throat> so I'm gonna try this torch puzzle again for the heck of it, and hope that it'll work out. No, 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 no wall master. That was not fair in the slightest. Maybe that is the answer to the puzzle. Because the uh, wall master, there's two chests to get in this room still. Interesting, because that wall master was, um, it was active in the cutscene. Oh, there's a switch up there. I did not see you there before. See, that's uh, that's why I like getting the compass because it tells me that there's more into the room before I move on. If I hit that. What does that do? It makes the treasure chest appear. What's inside the treasure chest? Bomb shoes. Delightful, I suppose, if I was looking for bomb shoes. And yeah, I can't get through there. I can't cheat through that place. Is there anything that I can shoot through here, though? Just for the fun of it, I'd like to see if I can make that one treasure chest appear. Um, I could possibly bomb chew that rock over there. I just figured as long as I'm in this room before I cut ahead, I might as well solve the mysteries of uh, this first... Wait, what was that that I... No, nothing. It was just a graphical flicker, I think. <laughs> so, my friend, how do you get that treasure chest? <laughs> or that fourth one. It might be something that I can only get as an adult, because I will be coming through here as an adult again, so I might just disregard certain things on the uh, um, joining paths and be able to get them later. Because pretty much everything that can be done as a kid can be done as an adult as well. At least most things. Uh, what's... What's that? Hmm. That is an interesting thingy indeed. How about... I throw a bomb its way. Like, angle myself somewhere like there. Drop it. And see how it ends up. That blows that up, apparently. But what's that do? <laughs> is there... Ha! Hookshot target. That is for Adult Link. Um, 
Is there anything that these monuments are holding? Oh, we got Navi there ha having a fuss over something. <laughs> Whoops, I want this thing. See if the Song of Time has anything to do with this. For all I know, it just might be uh, her pointing out that switch on the other side. Um, let's try the Sun Song. No, unless I wasn't close enough. Then again, I might not have been close enough for the Song of Time blocks either. Just to try it. Then again, what the heck would, uh... Like, putting a Song of Time block or getting a fairy from here would do. Um, will Navi react to... Oh, I can't... I can just normally check this. Oh, I am so stupid. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that just hints that you're supposed to come here as a kid first before you're able to progress as an adult. Hence the term, uh, Hero of Time. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna cut back over to that other room. Uh, actually, wait a second, I just noticed that there's a mystery treasure chest. Probably appears right on this little edge here. If I were to shoot this... What would that... Would that give me the treasure chest? No. See how handy the compass is? It just, like, makes you think, hey, there there might be something that you're missing, and there might be something that you can do, like, right now. <laughs> um, lens of truth? Maybe that's what hitting the switch inside there gives you? Like... As an adult, I hit the switch, because those uh, rusty switches stay permanently pressed, and then maybe what it does is it makes the treasure chest appear over here. Ha! Didn't get me that time. So we're back in this room, and the puzzle has still yet to be solved. Um, what I'm going to do here is hopefully get some magic power, and that kind of works. And I'm going to lure out that wall master before I attempt to... Uh, Light those torches once again. Lovely! You're going down! <laughs> and they're, once you get them off the ceiling, they're so easy to kill, because it's just like they stay stunned for such a long time. And look at all those rupees that I spent on that dang mini game, and I'm getting them back so quickly. Aha! Not this time, either. Not this time, Johnson the Pot. Okay, so... Gonna put this here. Light the torch. I have a strong feeling that this has to do with fire arrows. Really, really strong feeling. Like I would shoot them from a high place or something like that. And last one. I could be wrong though. Let's see. And that was about as fast as I could do it too. And I know that, that, that the range of the f Din's fire cannot reach that far. Hmm. Okay, that Song of Time block down there. What if I were to do this to get the, to get the crate? This works. How do I get back? <laughs> um, well, I know I can't... I mean, Song of Time blocks won't disappear under my feet after I... Use the Song of Time, so... Maybe this will just make another one appear. And I should be able to hop over to that one. Maybe? Let's just give it... I'm inside the crate. That's why I couldn't pick it up. Ugh! Yes! Alright, I got myself a crate. And that means I can now go across and plop this crate on that switch after... a. A quick song of time. There. I'm really getting tired of playing this song. <laughs> I'm sure you are as well. Either watching it or doing it yourself, but what are you gonna do, you know? It's in the game's design. Alright. And hopefully I won't need to grab onto the edge or something like that. That would be no! If that hit me, I think that I would have dropped the crate and I would have lost the, uh, I mean, the crate would have busted. Ah! 
very good. And I believe if you raise your shield or attempt to raise your shield, you'll just drop the crate on sight, but obviously I can't, you know, do that because I don't have a shield. <laughs> so I'm just going to have to lay it down like that. Just an extra added tip, providing that you still have your Deku shield at this point, which I highly doubt with all the surprise enemies around this place, alright? This place, it's new, we got some fire walls, ow, please don't hurt me. <laughs> no treasure chest in this room, apparently, but what, is this a torch? Yeah, what, what the heck's that used for? I'm gonna, can I dins fire this or am I, yeah, I'm too low on magic power. Okay, I'm just gonna assume that you don't have to light those things. And this part's getting kind of lengthy, so I think I'm going to end it off here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.